Good morning. It's technically morning because it's 1 a.m. I have a 5.45 flight and the shuttle's coming to pick me up in 30 minutes. I'm so sleepy. I tried to nap, failed miserably, and now I'm about to get on the shuttle. I've been up since 6 a.m. and I'm very tired. myself a cup of coffee for the drive but I'm going to need another one as well as like something to snack on when we land in Mexico City. I am so tired. We're going to find breakfast right now. Um, short walk. I think it's somewhere up here. Somewhere up here on the right or left. Uh, this is a very small, small, small town. <laughs> I know, right? I'll be telling you. Oh, is it like that on one side and not on the other? No. Touristic of her. Like she pays well, she treats them with respect. I mean, I tell you, you can't say nothing wrong about him to me. I don't give a shit. I'm, I'm a ride or die. Libra. So who's putting these roots on these men? Her, her mom. Yes. Yes. Is that chocolate? 
too murky. It's just a lot of lily pads. Right, the founder of Black Sick Global and the host of the Black Sick Global podcast. And it is my distinct pleasure to be a media sponsor for the Redefining Life Abroad Virtual Summit. If you don't already know, Black Sick Global exists to empower and inspire members of the African diaspora to pursue a life abroad. And I am living my best life abroad. I relocated from the U.S. to Lisbon, Portugal in September of 2023. And throughout my time with Blacksa Global, it's been about four years now, I've had the pleasure and honor of hearing stories from Black expats all over the world living the life they only imagined and some even bigger than they imagined for themselves. And so what I love about the focus of the Redefining Life Abroad Virtual Summit is that it's focusing on two key areas that I believe most people overlook in their journey and aspirations for a life abroad. It's focusing on finances and family. I made the move to Lisbon, Portugal in September of 2023, just about two and a half days after I moved my youngest child to college. 
And for me, the move abroad was always something that I had longed for, but never thought it was going to be possible. Why? Because one of the things that was the biggest hurdle for me in previous attempts or desires was finances. How am I going to support myself? How am I going to make money? How much is this all going to cost? And it wasn't until I created Black to Global, until I started to dial into other women who were doing the thing that I wanted to do and were transparent in sharing their journey, their experiences, their cost of living. It gave me the fuel I needed, the information I needed, the inspiration I needed to make my move abroad dreams a reality. As an attendee of the Redefining Life Abroad Virtual Summit, you'll hear from incredible speakers like Michelle Wedderburn, who is a guest on the Blacks of Global podcast, as well as Tracy Collins, who is a guest on the Blacks of Global YouTube channel. And you'll hear from other experts and speakers who will be pouring into you and you will walk away with information as well as inspiration to help you on your journey. And so you will be dialed in on those two key areas that I can tell you firsthand that people tend to overlook. Click the link and register for the Redefining Life Abroad Virtual Summit. You can register at redefininglifeabroad.heysummit.com and I look forward to seeing you inside. Sandilla, mira, That's sandilla, oh, sandilla sí. pepino con limón, pepino mm -hmm. con limón, cucumber and lemon. Limonada con chía, uh, uh, limonada con chía. Limonada con chía. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Yeah. Dana, With 20. Chia seeds. 20. Uh, sí. 20? 20? Okay. It's 22. Is it 20? Here. Uh, pepino y limón, so cucumber, lemon. So let's see how it tastes. Very delicious. Thank you. 
I smell it now. It's just come through. Okay. This is the black Isn't that beautiful? It looked like him. Yeah, it was good. Is it sweet? Yeah, it's sweet. Okay, so that's why this is like that. It's covered in it. I rocked it like that. She rocked it like that. I rocked it open to my kids like that. Bouncing my leg like that. Bouncing my leg like that. Breakfast was good. Mine came up to 220 pesos, I think. But we're heading back towards the water now. It's bright. It is bright out here. Seafood. Everything. You would 
not have guessed that just oh, looking wow. at this place. Good. This is see my mashed potato. I guess. It's like midnight, um, and we're at the end of what Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, day three. Tomorrow is our last day here, and then we leave Saturday. Um, I haven't vlogged much because it's so hot and humid here that. Like, my hands are sweaty and trying to vlog um, about what we're doing is not easy. Um, I realize, like, hot and humid climates is not my vibe. I don't know. Bacalar is beautiful. The water is great. It's a nice girl's trip, but humid climates is not for me. Good morning, it's 11.30, I'm just vlogging right now because I haven't vlogged much this whole trip. And we're getting ready to go to find some food. And Danielle's planning our next girl's trip. Because they have nice home good items. Well, you gotta have home goods nearby. Target's closer. Target. All right, so it's humid this morning, as it is every morning. This is our last full day here so we're going to kind of take it easy we've been taking it easy every day we're not really don't have anything planned we were talking about doing a boat ride but i don't think we're going to do that <laughs>
It's our travel day. It's currently 8.45 and I'm having a taco from the bar last night. <clears throat> it's gonna be my breakfast. And then we're gonna go out and get coffee. The driver comes at 10.45. Um, and then I'm kinda of ready to go. It was a great trip. Uh, we're still friends after and um, I think I wouldn't mind coming back here for a week. The Airbnb is really nice because it has air condition. Um, the humidity is just like I broke out last night. The humidity is too much for me. We're off to get some coffee and croissants and cinnamon rolls and other staples of breakfast. Oh God, this weather. I'm gonna miss the weather. made it through security and we are back in the airport this airport is tiny um, but at least there's air condition and we don't have to deal with the humidity outside but let me show you what the airport looks like so this is Chechemal airport and this is departures this is it back to center. So that's the whole of the airport. It's very easy. I don't mind a small airport like this. The only problem is you're going to have to carry your suitcase up the stairs since there's no, um, what is it called? Tarmac? Not tarmac. What is it called? Oops. What is it called? The little sky thing where you have to get on the plane yeah i guess it's the bridge i guess it's a bridge yeah there's no bridge um you have to load up on the tarmac so um thankfully my suitcase isn't too heavy it's my backpack that's really heavy because it has my laptop in it uh, that i really didn't use much but short walk up the stairs and then i'll be in my seat
Waiting in line right now. And we're back at the gate. So we had to take four flights down, but we just took a ramp four flights up. Like, why couldn't we have taken that ramp down? That would have been so much easier. <sighs> Shit, it just doesn't make any sense. So, flight is delayed. Boarding will now be um, around 7:10. And so that means we're going to be an hour late getting back.